Today I am going to discuss about operator overloading which is an important concept of object oriented programming. Okay, so what is operator overloading? The definition is operator overloading gives special meaning to an operator. For example, we have seen that plus is actually used to add two numbers. Binary, it's a binary operator which accept two operands say a and b and if you write a plus b it performs integer addition so the same operator plus can be overloaded to perform string concatenation if the operands are strings s1 s2 here denote strings so this is an example of operator overloading okay so now we can overload almost all, all the operators but there are some exceptions. The exceptions are first one is class member access operators. Class, How will you access class members using dot operator and if you are using pointer dot star will be used. These two operators cannot be overloaded. Then next one is scope resolution operator. This cannot be also overloaded. Then another operator is size of which cannot be overloaded and this is conditional operator that is we will check one condition if it is true first statement will be executed if it is false second statement will be executed. So this is called a conditional operator and this also cannot be overloaded. Okay so in order to implement operator overloading our class should have a member function or a friend function which is of the general form described here return type followed by class name followed by scope resolution operator then keyword operator this is the keyword which indicates that the following operator is going to overload as defined in the body part of the function Okay, so EOP stands for operator. That is the number EOPERATOR OP and the other overload chain of the engine and the function defines either turn down. So operator no or a keyword prefix side to use here. This together will be the considered as the function name. Or function defines in the format will add either way than the bracket will arguments on the angle we can give then body of the function. Okay, so this is the general form. This function can be either a member function of the class or we can give it as a friend function. Okay, so in general, in order to implement operator overloading, the main steps are we should first create a class, then declare operator function, then define operator function. Okay, so with this, we have defined an operator function. Now, how to invoke it from the main function or somewhere else? So, if it is a unary operator, if it is a unary operator, we can write op followed by x. x here is the operand. x is the operand here and op is the operator or xop. That is, in this case, operator is a prefix operator, whereas this case, Operator is a suffix one. Okay. So next is the case with the binary operator. If you are overloading binary operator, the for general format of invoking operator function is x opy, where x and y are two operands of this binary operator op. Op can be plus, minus, or any operator. So if it is plus, it will be x plus y. Okay, like that we can invoke operator function. Now we'll see one example of overloading unary operator. Unary operator means an operator with only one operand. It's called unary operator. And here we are taking unary minus, minus operator. So how it works if a equal to 5, minus a will be minus 5. That is it changes the sign. It changes the sign of the variable. Okay. Similarly, if a equal to minus 6, minus a will be 6. That is minus of minus 6 will be 6. 
This is the case with a normal integer variable. We are going to implement the same operation to an object of a class. So, in the example we are going to discuss, there is a class named space. And we are declaring, so this is the name of the class. And yes, is the object of the class. And this class has got three data members, x, y and z. Okay, and I am going to apply operator overloading to the members of this class. That is, if I apply minus s, what will happen? Minus s means I am going to change the sign of an object. Is it possible? It is actually not possible, but through operator overloading, this can be a valid statement. Okay, so S is actually an object of the class minus S means we are going to change the sign of an object. But in practical, changing the sign of an object is not possible. But as we have implemented an operator function with minus inside the class, it is possible. So we have given definition in the class, we will see the example, we will see the program. Operator minus is defined with definition as x equal to minus x, y equal to minus y and z is equal to minus z. So when I call this statement minus s, it will automatically invoke the member function, operator member function defined in the class and it will change and we have written code to change the sign of each and every variable in the class that is x, y and z. So x will become minus x, y will become minus y and z will become minus z. So minus s simply writing minus s will perform the operation of changing the sign of each and every variable of class space. To change the sign. Okay. But minus s n the number kodukumba thanne. E class in the moon data members in the sign change and I trolla operator overloading function defines either tender. But a minus an operator. So number definition operator minus n the one letter. Adin agatu kodukin the definition x in the value minus x akunu el change inu y in the value minus y akunu z in the value minus z akunu so simply writing or invoking member function named operator minus so this statement will invoke this member function and it will change each and every data members of the class or it will change the sign of every data member of the class. So if these are the initial values 10 minus 20 and 30. So after the execution of the program output will be x will be minus 10, y will be 20 that is minus of minus 20 will be 20, z will be minus 30. Okay. So next we will see the program. Here is a program that explains the concept of operator overloading that is unary operator overloading so unary minus is overloaded here to change the sign of data members of a class okay that is when we apply unary minus operator to an object of the class the sign of all its data members will be changed okay so we can see the example so we have declared a class named space here then three data members x, y and z and three member functions are also there. Get data is to read the values for x, y and z into variables a, b, c and it will be assigned to x, y and z. Then display is used to display the values of x, y, z and this is the important function that explain our concept that is operator overloading operator minus here operator is the keyword which indicates that we are going to overload unary minus operator okay so this is only declaration definition is given outside the class so 
this is the definition of first function that is get data three parameters are there whatever is passed to these three parameters will be assigned to x y and z so x equal to a y equal to b and z equal to c then the second member function is space display and this is just displaying x equal to x, y equal to y and z equal to z. What or maybe the values of x, y and z will be displayed. And this is the definition of operator function. So the declaration follows the same format. Return type followed by class name, followed by scope resolution operator, followed by the keyword operator, followed by the operator which is to be overloaded. That is in this example it is unary minus and the definition is like this. Our aim is to change the sign of each and every data member of the class. So for that we have given x will be changed to minus x, y will be changed to minus y and z will be changed to minus z. This is the definition of operator function and we can see how it will be invoked from the main function. So this is the main function. First we have created an object of class space. Then we have to give values for x, y, z. For that we are invoking get data function by passing three values 10, minus 20 and 30 which will be automatically assigned to x will be 10 y will be minus 20 and z will be 30. Okay. Then we are just displaying s by calling display function s dot display. So this will display the current values of x, y and z because this inside the display function we have given a definition for displaying the values. Now see the next statement minus s. What, what does it mean? minus s means this is unary minus operator which we have given definition for operator unary minus in the class okay so min minus s means we are invoking operator overloaded function okay so what happens when we call minus s x y and z of object s yes, will be changed to minus x minus y and minus z. So when you invoke this function x will be minus 10, y will be 20 and z will become minus 30. That is we will change the sign of x, y and z by simply calling minus s. So this is the speciality of operator overloading. By simply writing operator followed by the object will invoke that function and it will change or it will do what we have given in the definition. We are displaying s.display and return 0.